I am back in the Touch Graphics booth again this year, again talking to my friend uh, Lindsay Yazzolino, and uh, she's going to tell us what advances they've made uh, since we talked last year. How are you doing today, Lindsay? I'm doing great, just enjoying the beginning of the conference. Yeah, everybody's fresh now. I know. All I'm right. Coffee in hand. Yep. <laughs> so your company is all about literally touch graphics, things right. to allow people without vision to be able to experience mm -hmm. things yeah. tactily. So tell us what you've got out in front of us today. Yeah, okay, great. So right now I'm standing in front of our, our new product. It's the it's called the T3, and it's a tablet that um, you can put different uh, overlays on, tactile overlays, and it turns it into an interactive experience. So you can do things like, oh, sorry, you can do things like um, uh, read tactile maps and get more information by just listening to the feedback. Um, there's, we have games, actually right now we have a tactile game that so, we're showing. So what I'm seeing on, on top of the tablet is uh, a, a large square yes. with some airplanes at, a, at an airport. That's it's kind of showing correct. the layout of an airport. Yep, but, yep. but this is a physical thing that I can touch with my fingers and yeah. it's on a tablet. So, so explain this that. is a game. This is a game and I love this one because I love flying. Um, so this is a game to build, build tactile skills. Um, so in this case, it's to be able to trace your way through a, an airport journey. Um, so actually, do you want me to quickly kind of give an idea, uh, show you how it works? Yeah, so I'm going to be doing some tricky maneuvering. You're talking, okay. I'm talking, and yeah, I'm going to move yeah. the mic down to the tablet yes. talking. Yeah, okay, great. Um, yeah, that works. All right, so hold on. Let's so try. she's just lifted up the game and put it yeah, back down, this little on, so piece I'm, of paper. Right, so I'm putting this overlay sheet on the tablet. It's going to... It's going to start up. Um, downloading okay, so it's downloading three games. Sheet 35 catching a flight. T3 Airlines is now boarding. Can you navigate the airport to catch your flight? Okay, so it's giving us instructions, right? Yep. You can also explore objects that are off the path at any time by pressing on them. Yeah, so it's giving instructions. There are nine on steps how on this play. sheet, worth nine points. Explore the graphic with both hands. Press on any shape with one finger to hear its description. Swipe to the right to play. Okay, so I'm going to play. Well, okay, so let me touch stuff. I'm going to touch with two hands. I'm touching this. It's a it's a vacuum form sheet that's like in, like, uh, like you said, is an airport map. So I'm going to, like, touch a thing with one finger. Mm, here we go. Okay. Coffee shop. Ooh, coffee shop. My favorite. Okay, so now I'm going to play the game. I'm going to swipe right. Step one, let's find the entrance to the airport. Across the bottom of the sheet, you'll find a gravelly street full of cars and, above it, a rough concrete sidewalk. Move your finger from left to right over the sidewalk until you find a circle with a dot in it. Press the circle. Okay, so I'm okay. feeling, I'm feeling this, I'm, oh, hey, bumpy sidewalk. Okay, touching, touching, um, touching above, oh, okay, I see a dotted line, and, um, Let's see. Oh, there we go. There's a dot. There's a circle with a bump. Oh, ding, ding. Oh, cool. You've successfully reached the airport. In a few okay. hours, you'll be flying to visit a friend in another country. Okay, I think yeah. we, we see how this works. Yeah, right. That's such an interesting design. So I can see, obviously, colors and shapes and yeah. things, but you can feel those same colors and shapes to play the game to train yourself? Yeah, so the idea is to help people build tactile skills because a lot of times um, either people who have gone blind or who have gone blind um, later in life or um, any point in their life, may, or even people who've been blind from an early age may not have had uh, training on how to use tactile graphics and so you can give someone a tactile graphic but it's really important for people to know how to actually interpret them and how to like make sense of all that tactile information so okay. this we're building and this to give a yeah give a game gamified uh, provide a gamified way of like teaching people how to interpret tactile. so so as a, a blind user would I buy this whole tablet system with this uh, with these graphical overlays so yeah so you would buy the the tablet and then we we sell each set of um, materials separately so this game this game book uh, binder we would you would uh, buy separately I got you and yeah. how much is the is the tablet um, it's uh, seven hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, that's actually not bad. That's Steve Landau jumping in from Touch Graphics. <laughs> yes. So this is this is very large. This is what, like twenty two inches, maybe? Exactly right. Yes. Twenty two inch diagonal. You can tell I'm a nerd. I knew how big the display I, was. I know. That's good. That's very good. It's an right. Android, generic Android tablet 
that they make in the millions for digital signage at McDonald's and other. Well, that's why it's so inexpensive. Right. So all we do is import these devices and add a couple of um, accessories like a mirror um, under here which allows the camera that's part of the tablet to take a picture of a QR code and that's how it knows which sheet uh, the user has placed onto the tablet. So how does it know that she was pressing the correct red button and that she had found the gravelly road? So the way it works is um, it's designed so that when you explore with multiple fingers... No, but I'm, I'm, I mean technically how did oh, the yeah. tablet know where you pressed? I mean, it's it's a lot like your your iPhone or your any other tablet where it um, it senses you know it's um, capacitive, so you feel the it, it senses where your finger is. Hang on, so it's a touch sensitive display. Yeah, it's a touch screen. Yeah, it's a touch screen. It's a regular old touch screen, just like yeah. you go to McDonald's. I want the Big Mac meal. Yeah. Um, this works better than the one at McDonald's, but uh, yeah, so well, like your phone, it's like right. your phone. You okay, know, so you when you're touching these red dots, it's actually transferring the capacitive touch through exactly. the paper to the tablet. Okay. Right. Well, yeah. are there is there anything else we should see on the table here? Sure. Um, you know, so the same concept of using low-cost uh, commodity tablets, um, but in larger size, can now be. Uh, used to provide um, fixed maps in public places so that uh, anybody can come up to it and learn about an environment. So what we're, we're looking at here is it looks like a map to me but I can tell it's got it's got um, little little dots and like the gravelly walkway again here and I've got buttons I can press and some bail, braille. Oh as I just tapped over I'm touching Irwin School. Irwin School Transition Center I'll show you how this requires a kind of a special touch to use it properly because we we found out through research that visually impaired uh, users like to explore with two hands in silence. They don't want any interruption when they're trying to figure out what in the world this thing is. but. As soon as you find something that you do want to know, you need to be able to basically ask, what is that? And the way you ask is you just keep your, your touching finger in contact with that thing and you simply re lift your other fingers. Thank you. Okay, so I was doing it wrong as a sighted person. I was looking for things and touching them, uh -huh. but if I was blind, I would be using both hands, finding, and I'd go, okay, I want to know what this building is, and now I can that's lift right. everything but that one finger, and that's when it spoke to you. That is the, turns out to be the best gesture for this kind of interaction because you don't have to lift your finger and tap. Lifting your finger loses that tactile connection to the you surface. Lose place. <laughs> you lose your place. You lose, you lose your place, place. and because you have to find it again. To tap directly on the same spot again. Sometimes your finger moves a little. So this this method, which we developed over a long period of research and testing, turns out to be the most effective way. But so you you're saying you actually designed it by by having people involved who were blind? Oh, definitely. that's crazy talk. Yeah, I who know. does that? What a concept, right? Like <laughs> this whole thing started uh, 25 years ago when I met a blind uh, professor in New York City and she she recruited me to work on these problems and I quit my other job and haven't looked back so it's um, it, it really is a product of a close collaboration between developers and users and artists and teachers yeah. well very cool you know um, we're gonna cut you off here but uh, the company is touch graphics uh, what is the website touchgraphics.com. Mm -hmm. All right, that would be a good place to find it. Thank you so much, Lindsay and Steve. Good luck to you. Thank this sounds you. great. Thanks.